And we are back, gamers, to Let's Play Colonization. And if colonization were a term paper, I'd take all night to do it. Last time we left off, we were still fighting for spam. The city has been hit. Or the colony, excuse me, has been hit really, really hard. Um, we are trying to produce food to stay alive. We are making as many soldiers as we can. And we're producing guns. These are kind of a waste right now, so we'll produce more food. 16, 16, so that breaks even on hammers. We're doing what we can to stay afloat, gamers. I'm trying to keep a steady stream just to keep just to keep the English from actually coming in and taking spam. I've so many men have died. And oh my god, they did give us a man of war. Uh um Wow, um... Let's clear your orders. Move to the front. If I could click on him. And make you a dragoon. I've got a plan. This might just walk! You're gonna stay there. You're going to load back on that ship. Ship's going to wait. You're going to load on the ship. Ship's going to wait. You're going to load on the ship. Ship's going to wait. You're going to load on the ship. Ship's going to wait. You're going to load on the ship. And now, now that we got some firepower, we'll send them down here just in case we need backup. Thank you, French. You put all of your crayons and melted them together to produce this orange ship. I said French. I meant Dutch. Excuse me. Thank you, Dutch. If I did say Dutch, I'm really just going crazy. Alright. Come on. Tory artillery damaged. Yes! Whew. Getting in the souped up mode. Alright. Good job, guys. Good job. Tory artillery damaged. Excellent. Keep fighting them off. Maybe we have broke the will of the king. His troops, the Tories, are not doing very well. As history shows, they didn't do well back then either. Oh, we got routed there. The dragoons are like, fuck this, we're gonna win. Yes, another good win, guys. Another good win. We got them on their toes. That bombard bonus is just god awful. Cavalry versus Continental Cavalry. Tory Cavalry routed. Unit demoted. I just. I don't know, gamers. I guess I would be scared of this coastline here. Thank you for your furs, Iroquois. I'm just surprised the king did not land anywhere down this coast and try to take it over. That just shocks me. Uh, Fort Red is right out of war. There's nowhere we'll have to get to people to bring ore up. We're one tool short of producing it. And population increase, and I hate France. Excellent. You can make guns. Welcome to the family. Dutch Intervention Force arrives at Fort Red. Local Rebel Army Commander... Wow, they're sending more soldiers! 
Huzzah! Thank you, Dutch. Kind of glad I kicked your ass a while back. That makes me smile on the inside. Let's take this ore here. Send you to Fort Red. I'm actually going to leave those soldiers up there and bring that man of war down here to fight. Maybe it could pave the way. Let's see if we can do a little sneaky action here. Alright, another cannon. Another cannon. Leave you here, leave you here. Oh my. We'll fortify. Charge! I don't know why I did that. <laughs> One dude gets a hair up his ass to charge out of the fortress and into the forest, and he beats Calvary, and he gets a promotion for it. <laughs> if that is not a symbol of America like anything else. I don't know what is. <laughs> what do you mean we're low on guns and horses and we can't replenish it? And we're low on men? Fine! Charge! <laughs> Here, have a medal. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. We're going to send you... I don't want to pick it like that. Right here. Right here, right now. Maybe we can actually get rid of some of those man of wars that are plaguing us. Distribute these uh, Dutch soldiers out. I love how they say English Continental Cal Calvary when we know good and well they're not. Let's go to Fort Boob. And we'll leave you there at Fort Red and you there at Fort Red. Come on, let's keep them back. Yeah! Start the awesome music. Key it up. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job, artillery. Shit. It's a good thing I brought that artillery down. Oh, he bugged out. He was GTFO and. Crap. They're weakening us big time. I hope they don't go out there and get that galleon. I'll be very sad. They're blockading that harbor big time. They want Spam's ass. That's all I could say. Oh, shoot. Yes, yes, I know you're out of war. I've got some coming. Fort Boob has made more tools and horses. Excellent. Okay. Good to go, good to go, good to go. Yep, could care less. Alright, more Dutch Intervention Force arrives at Fort Boob. Well, it's all you giving is one cannon? Cheap bastards. Yep, this is exactly what we're going to do, because I only got a third of a move left. Oh, shit, I didn't want to do that with him. Make you a soldier again. Move you guys off. Leave you there.
Charge! We'll try it again. Why the hell not? <laughs> it didn't work that time. <laughs> I had to try it, gamers. I'm sorry. Did you hear me chug some water? When I get into these games, I get cotton mouth. I can't help it. It's the nerves. Man, I'm kind of waiting, wanting them to attack uh, these other colonies now. Damage Tory artillery destroyed. Excellent. Come on, artillery. Yes! Hey, that cleared spam. We have won again there. Oh, now they're going after my galleon. Rebel galleon evades. What's this? Royal Expeditionary Force annihilated. General Sir SKS accepts surrender of all Tory forces in brief ceremony. Parliament declares King unfit to rule and votes to accept independence of New Awesome. Continental Congress proclaims Sir SKS the first president of the New Republic. Yeah! I don't think that they proclaimed the first president. Usually there's an election, but... Excellent! Gamers, we have... We're, we're independent. We have fought back the Raffle Ninja King and declared our independence. We have fought for what so many have tried and actually attained it. So let's see what happens next. The game freezes. Oh, oh it's the Rafa King. What's his dog? His dog's even sad. In our wisdom, we have decided to let you go your own way. We have far more important matters to deal with than you wretched colonists. Do not seek our aid in the future, for it will not be forthcoming. Aww. Poochie, 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 why are you so sad? I don't even think he's sitting down in that chair. But folks, we have insulted the king. He taxed us way too much. And we are now independent. The United States of New Awesome. I, as President SKS, will lead this country into the future with some awesome music in the background. Oh, folks, there's nothing else to really say about this game. It's one of my favorites. I've enjoyed playing every bit of it to get to this point. Let's see my horrible, horrible score. 294 citizens. We had most of the Continental Congress. Rebel sentiment was 100%. Everybody hated the king. Early revolution. Independence achieved. Plus eight Liberty Bells. I'm not sure what that means. I think because we kept spinning them all for the Dutch. But before I click here, uh, it's been a fun ride. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's We've had our ups. We've had our downs. The height of the privateering age was happy to us. And then it went downhill. Even when we had Drake join our Congress, it just went downhill farther. Um, but, damn, I had a lot of military guys. But uh, we did what we needed to do. We come out on top. That's what this game's about. You have your ups, you have your downs. I don't like a video game where everything's just up. And colonization, Sid Meier, he got it right. Except for the French, he could have left them out. I would have much rather had the Portuguese in the game. And even the Dutch. How about that, gamers? The Dutch turned around and they helped us. Something I never would have ever, ever, ever imagined. But, uh, it happened. So let's go on through here. 
and colonization rating of 31%. In memory of your deeds, the citizens of New Awesome give your name to a college. SKS Anium. No doubt it will be a party school. Vodka will be the traditional drink. Because, as we all know, when I drink vodka and I play video games, good things happen. As some one of the viewers commented, it's the American dream. And I made it happen here twice, in a college, and while playing a game. Let's see, I could have been a college, a bird, a bridge, an apple, a school. That would have been fitting for... Well, me being a teacher, I guess a college is fitting. Um, a flower, street, a fast food chain, a prison, a venomous snake, a poisonous plant, a stinging insect, and an infectious disease. Wow. I guess if you fail really bad, which, as I told you all from the start, I wasn't playing for score. Um, I don't really remember. I know I've been higher than college before on some of my games, but I don't really care about that. So, And here I am right here. Explorer's Rescue of Free English, 1719. Alright, so the Hall of Fame, that's for you gamers if you care. And right here you come to a point where if you put keep playing anyway, you keep playing. If you hit that's all, it exits out to DOS and cuts the game off. So I'm going to hit keep playing anyway. And I love that the little American flags stay here. Well, now that I clicked on it, you can't see it. But, yeah, the flags, that was a nice little aspect of the game. So, I mean, I built up all these cities, Fort Red, New Porn, I Hate France, Fort Boob, and the king didn't even land. He did all of his attacks here at Spam. And gamers, I'm going to be honest with you, if you notice there in the Hall of Fame, I tested it before to see where he would land at. And he landed everything over here at I Hate France and Fort Boob. Because, um, yeah, I wanted an idea of what would happen and how long it would take. But, I guess the RNG, as Grimoth likes to talk about, the king said, fuck you, and he tried to take down Spam. It didn't happen. We are now independent. We have done what we needed to do, gamers, and I'm excited that you all have been along for the ride. Uh, I really, I'm kind of sad that it's over. We've had a lot of good stories from, like I said, the Privateerian, the Church of Spam, Fort Boob, uh, the renaming of Fort Orange to Fort Red, New Porn, our sad lost colony of Blue Ball down here. It, it's, it's been a long struggle. I, I believe now, yeah, the whole map is uncovered. You can actually look down here and see... The French are starting to expand big time. Well, not over here as far as I thought. And then we can see what our friends the Dutch were doing. Besides getting raped and pillaged by the Indians. So they had three colonies. So I guess they give what they could afford to give there at the end of the game. But, I mean... All I could say about Sid Meier's... Sid Meier, Sid Meier, excuse me. Sid Meier's colonization... This is one of my favorite childhood games. I give it a 10. I'm sorry. There's too much. Yes, you're going to say graphics. Yes, this. But guys, back in the day when this came out, it was the shit. It's a great game. I'm a historical nut, so it plays into that aspect. I mean, it's just, I don't see how you can go wrong with it. Even today, it gets enjoyment. Now, I've had a couple of viewers tell me I need to play the new one. I do own the new one. I'll think about it. We'll see how that goes. But, we'll just see what happens. But as for now, this Let's Play Colonization has come to an end. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching. President SKS has had a great trip as he started as Sir SKS Explorer of the New World. 
Then he was given the title Professor of Colonization, SKS. And now I end, and I have been proclaimed President of New Awesome, SKS. I'll take that. So this is SKS, signing out for the final time on Let's Play Colonization. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. Gamers, you have a great night, and I hope to see more of you playing these games. Stay tuned for more stuff. Bye, everybody.